very good morning to our lecturer Tia Sanizam bin Hashim. We are here today to present our assignment which how the cardboard box is made. Everyone has cardboard box in their house. They use cardboard box as storage for their unused thing, especially in their store to avoid messy room or dust. Okay, it is come in a wide variety of size, shape and colors, but most share three basic structural components. The process of making cardboard box start from pulping process, corrugated process, cutting and assembly. So we are going to explain how a tree can become a cardboard box. The first step is uh, the tree. Well, we ideally look for a uh, recycled cardboard. For box production, at one point, a cardboard box started life as a tree. Typically, the trees are used uh, for box manufacturing, uh, a soft wood, uh, such as uh, a pine and a field tree. The reason they are chosen is that they have long fibers, which I can help to create a smooth finish for the cardboard as well as a creating tension which is increases increases uh, the strength. Many manufacturers which use wood are from a sustainable and manage a woodland. This this means uh, that any trees that are felled are replaced to help maintain the ecosystem of the forest. The paper and a cardboard created will have a different colouring which is uh, depending on the tree use. For the example is uh, silver beech uh, trees uh, will produce uh, a dark color, while a uh, spruce will uh, create a light uh, brown color. Uh, the second step is uh, the pulp. From filling the tree, wood chips are made. This wood chip are uh, then uh, broken down into pulp. This can be done uh, through a grinding the wood, again stone or chemically cooking the wood chips. With this, uh, you can add a chemical such as uh, sodium sulfide. Uh, this uh, method is uh, very familiar uh, to increase the strength of the part. For most cardboard, this part left as the uh, same color, however, it can also be bleached uh, to create a, a white appearance. Uh, Once the pot has been dried, you can then start to create the box. For corrugated box, it requires two pieces of paper or card called liners and a portion of fluted box which sits in between the liners so the fluids provide better strength for the box. Beginning of all corrugated packaging is called corrugated board, a series of sophisticated machines acting in unions to create this called a corrugator. Rolls of the paper made from dried pulp are fed through the corrugated roller which fluids and ruffles the paper. As increasing the flooring leads to higher use of material and therefore increases in strength. The corrugation machines use hot steams to create fluids at the same time glue is rolled down inside of the fluids so that it sticks to the liners. Once corrugated cardboard is formed, it is then trimmed to provide better edges. Now that you have completed the corrugated process, it is time to cut it to the size depending on the box requirements. There is a comprehensive guide and many of the machines are programmed to cut the cardboard to scale automatically depending on production demand. Once the basic outline has been cut, the cut is then sent to a trimmer. The trimmer is designed to deal with the intricate aspects that the cutting machines cannot handle. A trimmer can add handles to box and cut flaps that are needed to construct the box. The trimmer also scars the cardboard, making it easier to fold when the box is ready to assembly. This assignment is, I want to talk about the conclusion. The lesson that we can get from this assignment is, we learn how the cardboard box were made of and the manufacturing process involved to construct it. We can also identify the characteristic cardboard box which is their strength, durability, lightness and recyclability. Based on this characteristic, Recycling cardboard box allows us to save energy that can be used to manufacture other resources. Cardboard box is being used widely for packaging industry and 
shipping of a variety of items because of the quality and the safety packaging for it. Last but not least, one of the purpose behind this is for us to gain more knowledge and information to apply for our learnings about manufactured product. We can conclude that this cardboard box have a real important role to ease us for keep the item safety and making them ideal for easy transporting. We hope that we can use this knowledge to apply it in manufacturing other products in industry. That's all from our group presentation to explain about manufacturing cardboard box. Thank you.